So this video is going to go over three different things. The first thing will be hypotenuse leg. The second thing is going to be CPCTC. So we're going to use those two in the proofs. The other thing that I want you to get from this video is to know what does not prove that triangles are congruent. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so when I was uh, doing this, I uh, messed up the video file. So it's already written on there for you. So hypotenuse leg, the hypotenuse is going to be the longest side in the right triangle. So anytime you're dealing with hypotenuse leg, you do have to have a right triangle, because if not, you don't have a hypotenuse. So on the side, I did write hypotenuse is the longest side in a right triangle. Now the leg is the other sides. So I just happen to choose this side for which ones we're gonna set congruent. So if you see hypotenuse leg, it would look something similar to what we did here. So something I want you to write on this paper is what does not prove congruence? So one of the ways that you cannot prove congruence is by angle, 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 so A, A, A. The other way you cannot prove it is with ASS, angle side side, or otherwise known as S. So AAA and S does not, and I repeat, does not prove congruence. So when you say, what did you learn from this video? You can talk about how we said in geometry, ass is not the answer. Whoa, I just did some magic. I just have this all of a sudden up here where it says uh, for CPCTC, if the last statement is not triangle is congruent to another triangle, so if the last, so basically whatever you're trying to prove, if it's not the triangles are congruent, then CPCTC is going to be your last reason. So now we can look at hypotenuse leg. So I already filled up the top, but again, it's the same uh, answers that we've been doing for every single page. Now the hypotenuse is supposed to be the longest side. So the longest side on this one is BC. And BC will go with EF. Now the leg can be either of these two sides, but you'll notice that you have markings on this side. So I'm gonna say BA, I know, pretty badass. It's congruent to ED. So that leg is congruent. So the statement we can make is that triangle ABC is congruent to, so if I said ABC, I would start with DEF. So it's gonna be congruent to triangle DEF. Now, another way I want you to just notice, the hypotenuse is always gonna be opposite the right angle. So I was saying that the hypotenuse is always the longest side, which it all uh, is always gonna be across from the right angle. So that's another way to know where the hypotenuse is. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the proof on page 15. Now, I don't even have to read this one, and I know the first reason is given. Now, every proof starts with a given. So if the reason is open for the first one, it's going to be given every single time. If you get that wrong, I have no problem getting out my shame bell because uh, we want to make sure we for sure know that the first thing in a proof is the given. So the first thing given to us was that the triangle LPM and MPM are right triangles. Now they already drew a right angle in there, so I do not have to draw that. Now the next thing given to us was that ML is congruent to MN. So I'll put a line on ML and MN. So since that's the longest side, 
we actually just found the hypotenuse. Now, number three is going to be one of the ones that we can assume. Now, on this one, we can assume reflexive sides. So this side, MP, it has to be the same length for both. The reason they both share that same side. So whenever you are saying the same things equal to itself, we're talking about reflexive property. The last one is saying the triangles are congruent. We know that these two triangles are congruent because of hypotenuse leg. Now, you might ask, why do we need to know hypotenuse leg? So do you want to know about that? Yes, please, tell me. Oh, whoever that was, I'm glad they're uh, interested in it. Now, the reason is earlier we said that what does not prove it is AAA or ASS. And if you notice, if I didn't know this rule with the hypotenuse leg, I would have ASS. And with that, that would uh, we were talking about that doesn't prove congruence. So when you have the right triangles, if you find a hypotenuse and a leg, you want to make sure you know to use hypotenuse leg. So now we're talking about CPCTC. Now up top, you'll notice we still are saying we can assume vertical angles and reflexive sides. This has been on every single page. So by now it should hopefully be stamped in your memory. Now, I did not want to waste your time with me writing in what CPCTC stands for. So I already wrote it. CPCTC stands for corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So we use this more as to prove that a side slash angle, so a side or an angle, are congruent. So if the last thing that we're trying to prove says that we're trying to figure out that the sides are congruent or angles are congruent, we're going to use CPCTC. Now, that being said, you still must prove that the triangles are congruent. So we still have to prove that the different triangles are going to be equal to each other with one of the five congruency statements that we did on page one. Okay, so the proof that we're going to do for CPCTC, uh, I'm going to go a little out of order of what they say. Now, notice that what they say for the proof is that we're trying to prove that this angle is congruent to this angle. So since it's not saying that the triangles are congruent for what we're trying to prove, I already know the last one's going to have to be CPCTC. So that's what we've been talking about on here and on page one. Now, now I'm going to go back to the front and do it in order. So the first reason was given. So that means I want to look at the first thing given to me. And the first thing given to me was AB is congruent to AD. So AB and AD. So I'm going to put one slash through those two sides. The next thing given to us, which is already written in there, is BC is congruent to CD. Number three is blank, but it's going to be one of the things that we can assume. So we're going to assume reflexive sides. So for this one, the reflexive side, the one that they share is AC. So I'm going to say AC is congruent to AC. And the reason? It's reflexive. So I'll go ahead and put a mark on that one. So we found, so if I look at this here, I found a side, a side, and another side. So my reason they are congruent is side, side, side. So that's the end of this video. Now, hopefully, 
you know when do you see PCTC. So if it ever uh, doesn't have the prove as one of the triangles being congruent, then you know you're going to use CPCTC. Now, hypotenuse leg can only be used if you have a right triangle. Now, just because it's a right triangle doesn't mean it's always going to be a hypotenuse leg. So you have to make sure that you pay attention to what the proof says. And then the two things that uh, will make it so or wouldn't prove that they're congruent would be AAA and ASS. So those would not prove it. I know Big Sean would be very sad about that. But that is the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed.